One of the most stunningly beautiful fishing destinations in North America lies in extreme northern Manitoba. Here, barren landform with stunted trees gives way to treeless tundra. Receding glaciers expose granite outcroppings, covered in many areas by miles of sand esker. The larger area pitted with lakes and connected by mile after endless mile of rivers and streams. Here lies Little Duck Lake, which connects to massive Nangelini with rivers flowing to Hudson Bay. The fishing is spectacular. Giant pike and Arctic grayling abound and are caught throughout the season beginning in June. This too is prime domain for lake trout, which in these frigid and crystalline waters grow old and very large. There may be no better place in North America to catch numbers of big fish. Our trip is to explore the end of the seasonal fishing. By late August and into early September, hordes of lake trout push onto shallow rocky shoals and into stream mouths to get ready to spawn. During late season, there's no need to fish deep and slow for lake trout. Lakers from shore, huh? You can't beat it. Nice fish, yeah. Oh, woo! Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, hey? Are you kidding me? Beautiful, huh? beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Catching a fish like that for yeah. my waders? Yeah. Awesome. Really nice. I just can't hardly believe it. Strong. These, strong, strong river powerful. Too. These fish, I mean, to catch a fish like that for my waders from shore, that is awesome. It's something I'll remember forever. <laughs> awesome. And if you come up on these Canadian adventures, I'm at the lodge at Little Duck, but come up on these Canadian kind of adventures, take advantage of the opportunity. Man, it's a, it's a, it's a trip of a lifetime. You haven't even got out in the boat. And that was back to back. Oh, yeah. I might make two another two. cast. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens next, right? Nice. Woo! You know, you can pay attention. The grayling, they'll be eating and eating. You'll be catching them. And if they shut down, you know, think about grabbing your other rod, right? Yeah, I mean, there's exactly. potential predators moved in. Exactly. We got a little wind today, so it's like, we'll find this spot next to shore. I'm having probably the time of my life right now. So, really cool. We just got started. Yeah. Cast, I could do this two. all day long. Yeah. I'll tell you that right now. Cast oh, after holy cast holy. of grayling and lakers from awesome. shore doesn't sound too bad. But when the wind dies down, it's time for the main event. Fishing for huge lake trout staging on their shallow spawning reefs. Yeah. You like a good one? Oh, it hit like a ton of bricks and all that. Staying deep. That's sign number two. That's sign number three right there. There we go. <laughs> nice. Nice fish. Wow. Nice fish. Look at that girl. Oh. Nice. That is so cool. And the opportunity is right now, right? Right up yeah. on these reefs in the fall. You know, it's just a great opportunity to start really good bite. On, on these September days, and you're going to catch spawning lake trout like this yeah. and bigger. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. We'll go get some more. Whew. All right. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Awesome. We got, we got a bite on, and we're going back in. Let's get back after him. We're doing a little trolling and covering the this big reef flat here. And the bite's on. I mean, the fish, they'll get a little wind, a little weather change, and fish have moved up. So let's see what happens here. Fish on. Yes, sir. Back to back. We just got back in. That's cool. I know we went 10 feet. <laughs> it is 10 feet deep, and it took 10 feet to get Yeah, right. I like the looks of nice that one fish. right there, my friend. Nice fish. Yeah, Woo! That's, that's a nice fish. <laughs> Let's get a look at this girl. All right. Woo! Oh, well, that's a <laughs> nice, nice <laughs> hog. Isn't that girthy fish? Huh? Yeah. And that beautiful. fish, yeah, that fish came in 10 foot of water. So they're definitely moving up, right? Definitely moving up. And but you 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 come up uh, come up here. You got to be prepared with the right selection of baits. We'll talk about that. I was using the 300 series husky spoon, which gets down about five six feet. So that's plenty of plenty of sp depth for that for that amount of water. But you got to have the right bait for shallow and for deep and everything in between. Let's get this girl back. Come here, big girl. She ready. There. Yeah, we're trolling for them, and you know, we're on these reefs that you can get up to three to four foot of water. They'll move up there and spawn, but they're hanging off these reefs. So that said, you got to bring a variety of baits that'll cover 
shallow to deep. So uh, a banana shaped bait, like a quick fish for trolling out in the, the 20 foot mark on up, you know, 14 foot, you can get, a, get away with trolling these husky spoons up in shallow, you know, like a Seville Magic Swimmer spoons up even top waters will work in, in the right conditions. So bring a, uh, a variety of baits that are gonna be on these reefs, but you gotta cover the gamut and have enough baits to, to, to patrol the depth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, up on these shallows. <laughs> yeah, it's That's only, an angry trout. <laughs> it's only three, four feet. It's gotta go straight out. Beautiful fish. Woo. Was that something in that shallow water? Oh, oh boy. Moly. He's not finished yet. He's got a little more to say. <laughs> oh my God. Nice fish. He's worn out here by the oh, time. Oh yeah, he's a hog. Nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. wow. The boulders are like right oh, there. Yeah. You could almost wade. Three oh, foot of water. That's crazy. <laughs> All he can do is go out. Huh? Wow. Usually they want got a little bit of trout on him right now. Whoa. We're gonna get a look at this, Mama. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, spawning fish, shallow water, man, you'd be hard pressed to find a better gig than this. Nice. No doubt is why you schedule a trip up here in September to the Lodge at Little Duck. Life is no less exhilarating back at the Lodge. Anglers gather to trade tales and get ready for dinner, which is served in grand style and with elegant presentation. Every angler deserves a little pampering after a fantastic day of fishing. Late season lake trout offer one of the best opportunities in fly-in country for fast fishing for spectacular fish in shallow water. Of course, the target could be pike or grayling, and the fishing's good all season long. We dare say, it's one of the best opportunities in all of fishing. The Lodge at Little Duck awaits.